Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We're back here at the dilapidated temple, considering as well, buying stuff, right? Look at this. How much money did we need for that uh, part of the mask? The other part, the dragon part? We didn't need much, did we? I don't think so. I think we'll we'll be good to go. Oh shit, do you think when we spirited away the big dude, he went to the abandoned dungeon? Do you think he went down there? Huh. Maybe we should check there real quick. All right, let's talk hey, to this guy. Friend, still have some Is he the guy who sells the other part of the mask or no? Yeah, no. Okay. Fair enough. Until next time. All right. Yeah, I think it was the guy at the dungeon, right? Okay, let's go to the dungeon real quick. Let's see here. Dungeon entrance. We'll check in on this guy, and then we can also just backtrack out of here and look for the well, because isn't that near this location? Because we need to delve inside of the well and go for a swim swam. And I think that will be all the aquatic locations, right? I think so. Care to purchase an offering? Let's see, how much, uh... You got the other part of the mask? Yeah, you totally do. Yeah, that looks like a center. Mask Fragment Dragon. Huh. Okay. Cost 5k. I mean, we have that. Maybe we'll come back if we have more money. Right? Made that way we have to rest. open less of our things. I think that's a good plan. Okay. Let's go on down here. Just do a quick, 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 quick check-in with that guy. Let's see. Do you have, uh, do you have any help down here yet? Anyone? My dear shippings. Nope, same stuff. Okay, fine. Let's see. And then, let's get our ass back out. There we are. We'll just run past this shit. Right? There we go. Okay, we'll check on out here. You don't think that fucking Zombo will attack our friend, right? Oh yeah, this is where the first bow dude was. Or bell dude. Bow dude. You think the dog will see me? Yep. Not in time, though. Alright. You think the, uh... I was just thinking, since we just went to Harada Estate, wasn't the way that we got there by tripping balls was by ringing a bell? You think that's linked to why these dudes carry around gigantic bells? Or maybe that's reading into the situation way too much. Could be. Okay. Now, where was that well at? It was over this way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right over there. Okay. So what we need to do... Kill those guys, maneuver back up and around there. Okay, yeah. That's totally the well. Alright. Then, we'll just sneak on up here. Doink! Gotcha! There we go. Spilled a little blood. No problem, though. Suck it right back up. Okay. And then... Let's see if we just go down here. We should be able to navigate over there, right? Using that branch. Should be able to. Yeah. Okay. Good. Nope. Whew. All right. <laughs> One ring. That's fine. More than that, problematic. Okay. This is where we met our friend who died recently, too. Right? What did he even give us when he died? I don't even remember. Oh, it was his little fun statue. Yeah. Okay, and this is the well from the beginning, right? Yeah. Is there anything else up here that we could see? Is that guy down there still? Does he respawn? I don't think so. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Alright. Head on back. Okay. We can't open this, huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just double checking. All right. And then, yep, coast is clear. Good. All righty. And then, here we go. Let's see. Now, there was this, but what's below? 
Ah, there is an item. Mibu Balloon of Soul. I don't know if that was worth it. But there was something for our trouble. How about up here? I don't even remember what is this way. Oh, this fucking guy, huh? Oh, yeah, it's this fucking guy here. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright. Yeah. I mean, it is a relatively quick run to him. Right? We could try and get him. I don't know. Now, nah, we've got too many good things on us. We'll come back for him later. Alright. Let's see. Homeward Idol. Get on out of here. Last communed, right? Yeah. So that's all of the watery areas, right? I think so. I'm trying to think. And I believe we got them all, right? So let's go check in with Kuro, and Kuro will probably send us on some wild-ass mission. Right, to assemble some sort of stuff to burn at the incense. Okay, travel on over here. To... Kuro's room? Yeah. Okay. And then we should be able to cash in all of the fucking gourd seats that we've accumulated. We've got like four of them at this point. Which is pretty wild that we just have this many. Alrighty. Hey Kuro, how's it going? I'm finally back after all this time. Wolf, that incense burner over there, it belonged to a person of interest. Take a look. Alright. Let's take a look. Looks like a big old cheese grater. What do we got going Is on? Is there something special about it? I'm told that long ago, there was another divine heir living here in Ashina Castle. His huh. name was Lord Takeru. This incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died a long time ago, apparently. Wrapped in the aroma of the fountainhead. I return to the divine realm. Do you think Those we'll go there? Supposedly, the words he left. The behind. divine realm and fight him. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead is the key to reaching the divine realm. That is my belief, Wolf. Let us discover the truth together. Huh. Okay. So we can't interact. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's up, Kuro? Now, as to how we begin our search. I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? Mm. A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf, come with me. Oh, where are we going? Huh. Alright. <laughs> Where are we headed to, Kuro? Oh, just over here? <laughs> okay. Good. Good Good walk. Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi, but I imagine that won't be a problem for you. Yeah, because I've I am one, Kuro. Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes, so if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, and you can use this window to reach the roof. Oh. What window? Is there a window over here I can use? What? Kuro, what the fuck are you talking about? This? Oh, damn! Kuro! Oh, shit! Alright, anything else? Find Lord Ishin and ask if he knows how we might sever the ties of immortality. I bet he'll he try to kill me. in one of the watchtowers outside this castle keep. Reach the roof from that open window. Then follow the nightjar smoke signals. I entrust this task to you. He's probably become some freaky fucking dude. Wait, hang on. Let's ask him again. Make sure the dialogue loops. Find Lord E. He's okay. recuperate. Reach Same the stuff. Okay. Can we talk to What's Her Butt now? I would really like to get more Gord Seed action going on. What's up? 
My lord is not in this castle keep. He is in one of the separate watchtowers. But Lord Ishin is not well. Which is why entry into his tower is not allowed. Okay, well, I mean, what if I don't give a shit? My lord is not in the- Okay, same stuff. Huh. Alright. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's see, how much money and stuff do we have? Eh, 206. See how high we can get it. Or maybe we'll be able to get low. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Pop this sucker open. Man, was this here the whole time that I could have just interacted with? Probably. Hey, look. There we are. We saw one of them earlier, didn't we? Okay. What's going on? Are we going to get flown at again? Are they going to fly at us? Oh, look. Yeah, we totally came this way. All right. Huh. So how do we know uh, which one of these to go to? Oh. All right. We got a bunch around here. Those fucking dudes have probably come back. The Nightjar dudes. Yeah. Okay. Down there is where we killed the headless guy. Alright, should we go inside of this? No. Right? Yeah, this goes back into... Yeah, where we killed this fucking guy. And this told us about how to avoid the ground in reverse lightning. Which we never fucking did. Alright, for better or worse. I feel like that'll come to bite us in the booty. Okay. Weird. Let's pop on back out, I guess. Is there a guy up on that? Good God. Okay. Huh. Which one would he be inside of? That one over there? Maybe this is what's trying to guide me toward. Right? Okay. Let's find out. Doink. And, hey, yeah. Look. Was this open earlier? We definitely were on this roof. Okay. I feel like parts of the game are opening up. All right. Oh, hey! Wow. Alright, I was expecting you to be some sort of, like, evil asshole. Do you mind if I go down here? You know what, I'll talk to you first. In case you're mad about it. About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Saki. What? You earned it. Take it. Unrefined Sake. Okay. Don't we already have some of this? A bottle of cloudy, unrefined sake given by Ishin. Oh! Sake is a drink meant for sharing. This cloudy sake is one of Ishin Ashina's favorites and has a rich, full-bodied flavor. On the other hand, it has a reputation for getting one too drunk too quickly. Oh, we have the duplicate of this, don't we? Yeah. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. Yo, he's my still face. out there. I he's still alive. the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That hoot, hoot. boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. <laughs> the bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? You're... So what do you wish to know? What? Who? Who are you? Ask about immortal severance. The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The mortal blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The mortal blade? With it, you could kill one who cannot die through <gasps> means. One who cannot die. The infested, I believe they are called. Oh. I have not seen one before. But it says the you could stab them through the heart, or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. The centipede That's people! It. If the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. They are. To I've kill seen a monster them. such as that, you'd need the mortal blade. Do you think it also works as, like, perma-divine confetti? Maybe. Also, is the implication that the old sculptor is Ishinashina? Because he's totally got a similar pose going on, right? With the foot out and all that stuff? I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Ask about... 
Uh. Well, no, because he has both of his hands, right? Unless we do something to him. And that's a weird time fuckery going on at the temple? I don't know. All right. Ask again about the same the thing. mortal blade. It may be the key to what Kuro seeks. To severing immortal ties. With it, you could kill those who cannot die through normal means. Okay, yeah. Where can I find this mortal blade? Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Senpo Temple. No fucking However, way. They say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. I'm not an artist. Mm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Yeah, I know. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains? There aren't any decent roads leading there. Well, I know how to get up there. It's just that one area is locked up tight. I've heard the mortal blade. However, they say Okay, them yeah, same stuff. Maybe that area will open up for us now. All right, here, give drink. So, Senpao Temple is totally not an optional zone. I bet a lot of the places that we thought were optional totally are not. Huh. All right, here, treat to Ashina Sake. I brought sake. Smart thinking, my boy. Let me see. Mm. 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 Ah, that's some good sake. This is how we drank when we won our battles. The people of Ashina. Together as one. Could you... Tell me about the rebellion. <laughs> oh, the rebellion. We just took back what was stolen from us. That's... Before this land was... It's a place where we... Huh. The Ashina people lived. Where the waters flowed straight from the source. We were a people huh. who loved our country dearly. <sighs> and we made good sake to boot. But we were heretics, huh. and we were weak. Naturally, we were overrun, trampled into submission for many long, excruciating years. We couldn't even pray at the water from the springs. <laughs> the way we were then. Even good sake couldn't get us truly drunk. But then the world fell into chaos. Yes, amidst the chaos that was Japan. The endless casualties. The flames of war. We found the perfect opportunity to take back our land. But now, it's a place of death. Huh. <laughs> it's a bitter thing indeed. We've been to that place, right? The source was... Or no, that wasn't the source, was it? Yeah, we had never actually been to the source of the Fountainhead Waters at... Mibu Village. But we have been there. Huh. I wonder if all of the emphasis on, like, sake and booze and stuff in this game is actually just a coincidence, or if there's actually some deeper sort of hidden meaning to it. Alright. Unrefined sake. Here. Are you offering me the sake I gave you? No, this is different. <laughs> Delightful. I'll take it. Huh. <sighs> That's the stuff. By the way, how was Ganishiro? What do you mean? You two cross blades, did you not? Uh huh. To put it simply, he was strong, and he had unusual techniques. I see. What exactly <laughs> is the lightning? Yeah, he command? shot lightning at you, <laughs> fucking Sekiro. That That's pretty the fucking unusual. To Ganishiro's mentor. I'll wager it was quite the sight. His mentor? Tomoe. There aren't many masters of the sword like her. To see her fight, it's like she's dancing. <gasps> when you look into her eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn into the depths of the ocean. <laughs> I was completely taken by her. The I mask description. Me. It said something I about dancing. Long life, but that was the closest I've come to death. Oh my god, if we assemble all the pieces of the mask. Oh, fuck. Look, we can give him unrefined sake again. Here. Ah, don't mind if I do. Yo, this guy's just dropping lore on us. <laughs> lore for booze. 
That's the stuff. By the way, how was Ganishiro? Oh, that's the same shit. Uh -huh. and he had okay, yeah. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> I'll wait his men. Come away. To see her. When you're looking, you feel it. I've lived... Okay. Oh, look. Huh, we gave it to him twice. Weird. Well, we couldn't have possibly given it to the sculptor, right? Okay, how about Monkey Boo's here? I have something for you. Ah, Sekiro. You know me well. Why, if this isn't Monkey Boo's. This <laughs> <laughs> old man's getting drunk ah, off his fucking no, this ass. This is what it's like to breathe fire. Do you know what other name this sake goes by? I don't. You don't? They call it Shura's Wine. I killed one once long ago. Shura. Or something very much like it. What is Shura, exactly? Those who go on killing will eventually become Shura. They don't even remember why. Simply enraptured. They kill solely for the joy it brings them. I see it in your eyes, too. The shadow of Shura. Hmm. Give me cause, and I will kill you. It would do you well to remember that. I see. What a tough guy. Alright. Huh. Good You're talk. Leaving, Sekiro. Yeah, Severing leaving. immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro! Hesitate, and you lose. Okay, good talk, man. Huh, let's see, what have you got down here? Anything good? Oh shit, pull my sword out. Oh shit. Yo, are you gonna mind if I fight these people? Oh, looks like we got to. Alright, oh man, we were up in here before. Whew! Alright. Jesus Christ! Get him through the choke point, huh? There you go. Alright. Good stuff. Alright. We still don't really have a solution for... ...getting Emma to talk to us again. Should we take this info back to... ...Kuro? Maybe. Let's see. Up here. And then... Oh god, how did we even get out? From the window? Let's see, where- well, here it is. Hey! Alright. <laughs> Alright, that's extremely cute. Oh, look. Some kind of note. Alright, let's check this. Gun for Shrine Key! Oh, motherfucker! Everything is opened up now that we've done this. The key to a shrine deep within a gun- the gun fort. The gate behind the shrine's idol is made to be opened. The Sunken Valley Clan will shoot any stranger who approaches. And the Snake Eyes guns are particularly, particularly feared. This elite group of women are descendants of the ancient Okami clan. Their especially sharp eyes allow them to snipe victims at great range. Yeah, we know about that shit. Okay. Anything else up in here? Kuro, are you just digging out keys and stuff? You know, like, I'm gonna pop open a window. Get some of this dust out of here. You know? It's good for you. Get some of this fresh, crisp, cold-ass air. The bolt was too heavy for me to move. Think nothing of it. Oh. <laughs> Still so much dust. Oh shit, was that what- Oh, was I really doing that? Oh god, I was just- I was just throwing in, uh, some words for the sake of fun. Alright. How's it going, Kuro? <clears throat> oh, this dust 
is awful. I have returned. Oh, Wolf, you're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said the mortal blade, it could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade? It's a sword that has the power to kill the undying. <gasps> it can be found at Senpo Temple. Like Hanbei? I see. Yes, that seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. What? Like, uh, the pinwheel flower? Show the Sakura droplet. Ask, uh, about the stone, about the flower. Here, take a look at this droplet? Hang oh, on. that's right. That door marked with the outline of a person. Lord Ishin once called it a shinobi shortcut. I haven't a clue how it works. But seeing as he mentioned shinobi, I thought you might know. Yeah, Kuro, it's fucking magic. I got, like, magic. I'm a fucking shinobi wizard, dude. Alright, here. What are our key items? What is this droplet again? Where did we even get this? Oh, we got this from Harada Estate, didn't we? Way back when, when we killed Lady Butterfly. Ah, pale pink crystal residue known to form when an immortal oath fails to establish. Increases resurrective power, allowing one additional resurrection. To repeat the vows of the Undying and be awarded resurrective power once more surely necessitates the aid of a divine child of the dragon's heritage. Oh. So are we actually going to get this like a third res? Huh. What's up? Oops. <laughs> Wolf, look here. I huh? found something that may help us. Oh, what it's is a it? Stone. A stone. Yes, look at this. Oh. Okami's ancient text. An old note left by the Okami clan who sought to reach the divine realm, which were uh, the folks of the Gunfort, right? A fragrant stone enshrined in a village within the depths of Ashina. Yo, we've been there. One must throw oneself for it to be found, right? And we jumped off the shit into the abyssal pit? With this, the fountainhead fragrance is complete. Let us depart now to the divine realm. Dude, we're totally going to the divine realm. What is? It's a writing by one who sought the fountainhead aroma. It says there's a sacred village with a stone that gives off a unique scent. Yeah, it's like mm. a kidney stone, Kuro. <laughs> I found it. Huh. What is that strangely shaped rock you hold? Is that the fragrant stone of the fountainhead? My Dude, Lord, I think it is. This stone appeared to have been enshrined. Yes. It is just as the book described. Yes. There was also an inscription. A sweetly scented bridal offering, written on the altar. Bridal? Hmm. What sort of place was this? It was in a cave, beyond a door made of solid rock. Hmm. In that case, where was the wedding procession headed? No way to know, I guess. Sweetly scented. Hmm? Lord Kuro. That place might be the gateway to the Divine Realm. Hmm. I see. Sweetly scented. Meaning, wrapped in the fountainhead incense. That is what it might be referring to. Oh, and actually, I found something. I discovered there's another scent we must acquire. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord, you cannot bleed. Yes. Huh. It is true that those of the Dragon's Heritage cannot plead. However, in Lord Genichiro's quarters, I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page. And it appears there is a way for me to plead. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Page's Diary An old diary entry written by Takeru's page. Lord Takeru held his arm over the incense burner and attempted to cut it with a sword. But incredibly, his wound healed instantly, and not a drop of blood was shed. Lady Tomo said, Without it, your blood cannot be spilled. What could she be referring to, I wonder? 
Oh, oh, Tomoe, right? Who is Jinichiro's tutor, right? Taught Jinichiro everything he knows. Who... Oh, God. We have something to meet up with her, right? Fuck. What was it earlier when we were talking to Ishin? We have something... Some sort of link to her, somehow, that we... Oh, yeah, the mask! The mask fragments. The dan... Because it mentions Dancer in one of the fragments that we got. One of them from the pervert. Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may be able to help us. Okay. Man, we're getting a lot of shit. To think my blood is an ingredient of the aroma. Yeah, that's Perhaps fucked up. Lady Emma will know of a way to make me bleed. It seems like really evil. Her? Anything that requires someone else's blood seems pretty fucking sinister, right? <laughs> All right. Hey, take a, take a look at this thing, the Sakura Droplet. My lord, this is for you. Could this be? It's a Sakura Droplet. That's... When the Undying Pledge of the Dragon's Heritage is broken, it's said that this remains in place of the Oath. Do you think this one was left behind by Lord Takeru? That seems likely, Wolf, if you so desire. I can use this Sakura droplet to assist you. Um. Huh. Should I keep it? Maybe I should keep it. What if I need it for something else? I mean, it sounds like it'll give me three lives, right? But maybe I should keep it. No, let's keep it. I, I might... I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. What if there's another thing that will come up and it'll be like, Oh shit, if only we had a Sakura droplet for now. Oh, fuck me. Alright, just hold on to it. Fuck it. I... We've gone so far with only two lives, right? We can do it. My lord's oath is all I need. I understand. But don't refuse it to spare my feelings. If you feel it is necessary... Do not hesitate to ask. Huh. That is wild. Okay. So basically, this is another optional hard mode, and maybe we'll get a weird reward for it? Sort of like the Bell Demon? Though I don't know if anything comes of the Bell Demon. Okay. Hey, what about the flower? A flower? First, read this. Jesus Christ, you've been on the fucking Wikipedia, Kuro. Fragrant flower note. A note from Kuro... Written by Takeru, former, former heir of the Dragon's Heritage. It is said that relatives of Tomoe once gathered the Fountainhead fragrance and arrived at the palace. You may find a key where the waters of rejuvenation converge in a deep pool. A white and deeply fragrant flower. What is... Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the Fountainhead aroma and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the Fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. We it haven't seen that yet. one component of the Fountainhead aroma. A place where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Ah. Yes. Indeed, the sunken valley may be the place which we have the, the key for. The water should flow into there. Where is this sunken valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the white serpent deep in the woods. God. As the name implies, the sunken valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. Aw, oh, Kuro, come on. <laughs> You're too kind. All right. Good talk, Kuro. Oh, that's right. More? That door marked with the okay, outdoor okay. Ishin, I haven't a clip seeing as he... Yep, yep, yep. Should we talk to Kuro one more time and see if he gives me, like, a shitload of paperwork? <laughs> Alright, fuck it, let's do it. To think, my perhaps, might you ask her? Alright, yeah, I'll ask oh, her. That's right, that door marked with the Okay, yep, yep, yep. Good. Huh. You don't think Kuro is the sculptor, right? Dude, I'm open to all sorts of weird time shit going on. Oh, hey, Emma, what are you doing down here? You're fucking scaring the shit out of me. So, you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me. 
for defeating Genichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating waters. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor Dogen devoted much research to its uses, Dogen. but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices oh. was able to salvage some of it. Dojun. Probably Dojun. Dojun. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. Okay. Yo, I got shitloads of gourd seeds. Hook me up. Consume gourd seed to increase maximum uses of healing gourd? So far, there hasn't really been any explanation for the... for the healing gourd, right? It's just a, some weird fucking thing that Sekiro got from her. Alright. There we are. How many of these do we have? Man, this is wild. See, who needs an extra res when we can basically double our gourd count? Oh my god. Gourd me up. Any, Wolf, anything else to talk about? It looks as if... Your brow is less furrowed than before. Hmm. Okay, we've heard Please. this before. See that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality is met. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Bye. All right, Kuro, anything else? I talked to Emma. To think my blood... Perhaps Lady Emma will know of a way to make me bleed. Might you ask her? Dude, she doesn't know oh, anything. That's right. That door... Hold up. Can we talk to her again? Emma... I'm trying to cut up Kuro. <laughs> there is something I'd like to ask. There we go. Yes, what is it? Can the divine air be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine air is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the divine air's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, the means to do so can be found in Sempo Temple. Of course. Mortal Blade. Yes. Here you are. Oh. What is this? Immortal Severance Scrap. Part of the book in Immortal Severance, left behind by Takeru. With Mortal Blade in hand, my blood may be shed. With my blood, the aroma will be complete. The Divine Realm will be in reach. Immortal Severance will be at hand. I must ask Tomoe to assist with the beheading. Oh, shit. Huh. Are we going to have to behead Kuro? What the fuck? This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the divine heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I'm not I cutting see. off his fucking this head. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. Emma, if you'd like to come in this room, by the way, it would really save me. Old Sekiro's having to do a lot of errand running. <laughs> Wolf, did you speak with Lady Emma? I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the Mortal Blade. I see. So the Mortal Blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. I've heard the Mortal Blade is in Senpo Temple. Will you obtain it for me? As you wish. Okay, cool. But we don't yet have a way through Senpo Temple unless all this stuff that we've just done unlocks it. We do have now an option at uh, the other place, right? W with uh, the key that we picked up. All right, Kuro, anything else? I see you've gathered some of the ingredients needed to create the aroma of the fountainhead. Keep up the good work, Wolf. Huh, all right. Oh, that's right. 
That door marked with the- All right, all right. Okay, cool. Huh. So now we can fully make use of everyone again, right? Should we go talk to- Oh, no, wait, look. look. Let's check out this thing. What is this? Divine Heir's letter. Wolf, found something. I've opened the library. Meet me there. Okay. And this should be same shit. The burner smells faintly of Sakura flowers. Okay. Huh. Alright. So perhaps when next we come back, we will go talk to the sculptor and Hanbei. Because specifically this mortal blade? We could kill Hanbei with it, couldn't we? Huh. <laughs> My hot take is that Hanbei is somehow Jinichiro. No, there's no way. There's no way. They, they look nothing alike. But maybe... Who do you think the sculptor is? Kuro? Maybe? Or... Ishinashina? I'm not sure. Also, Ishinashina was pretty... Okay with me fighting Jinichiro, right? <laughs> Alright. Man. The weird-ass weird, the weird -ass world of Sekiro is uh, really opening up to us now. Uh, when next we come back, we will check out the sculptor. We'll talk to Hanbei as well. And then we can either go check out Senpo Temple and see if anything happens there, which maybe we'll, we'll do that last. But we can certainly go back to the gun fort because we now have the key to pop that sucker right open. And we'll probably have to finally fight that snake or the monkey boss. I was really expecting a monkey boss and haven't gotten one yet. What gives? Where's my monkey boss? All right. Until next time. Peace.